Hello, my dear Aquarians. Welcome to your May 2014 room scope. My name is Amanda. As always, be sure to check the video for your rising sign as well to get some more information or clarification about uh, things that may be going on for you in May. Of course, the only way to get a reading specifically for you is to schedule a consultation with me. I do those on Skype and they're $65 for a half an hour session. Just drop me a line at the email address below this video if you wanna set up an appointment. I do schedule those in the order I receive uh, the emails and requests, so um, it can take some, sometimes a few days for me to get back to you. That just means there were several people ahead of you, but I will get back to you. I do also just want to thank everybody for uh, liking, subscribing, and especially sharing my videos. Uh, in April, I had um, more recommendations than I've ever had before from either people that I had done readings for or people that had just shared my video uh, on the internet with someone that they thought it could help. And um, So thank you so much for that. I am so glad that the uh, overwhelming feedback has been positive on these. They seem to be helping you guys uh, each month, so um, I will continue to do those as long as that is the case. But what uh, I'm seeing for May, Aquarius, as far as the challenge of the month, or and this this is kind of the environment also of the month, this first position, so it's something that may come in and out all of May. It, it, somebody may be requesting your help or assistance uh, but I mean, it seems like this person, or you, maybe your take on it is that this person is using you or trying to take advantage of you. Uh, the thing is Aquarius though, I mean, sometimes you're such a humanitarian. I mean, that's one of the overwhelming, uh, uh, attributes of your sign. So, I mean, other people may be telling you, you know, this person is using you and you should not do this. So it may prevent you from helping this person. Um, the thing is, Aquarius, I mean, I'm seeing that these people are right. Whoever this is, this is not the first time they've sought your help. Maybe you only see them when they need help. Maybe they only, you know, maybe they only come around when they need something. So this could be a child, a younger person, a sibling, um, you know, uh, an ex. I mean, somebody who just always whenever they come around they have an agenda so I, that may be what you're dealing with in may aquarius if it's you that has been doing that to someone else because let's face it there are bad aquarians just like there are bad of every sign you know I, if you are seeking help from uh, someone and you only see them or come around when you need something from them then I, you're not going to get the help that you receive um, if this is you somebody's coming to which I think is going to be the case for most of you then uh, you're, you're, you're not you're going to be prevented from giving the help by the other people around you who are just going to say no you need to stop being taken advantage of you need to say no to this person um, you, you're just too kind you're you know and, and these people understand you they love you they're just concerned about you they don't want you giving anymore without receiving so and Aquarius this can also be if you're in a relationship with somebody who's a taker I mean maybe maybe your family and friends are are telling you you need to get away from this person um, you know it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship but any relationship where other people feel like somebody's taking advantage of you I think in May they're gonna be like you need to put a stop to this um, you know and, and trying to help you see what's going on and for some of you Aquarius I think you do see what's going on I mean you do know this but you just care so much for this person maybe it's hard for you to say no to them when they come to you so again that would be if it, this was a child um, or a younger sibling, someone that you love very much and just um, you don't want them to go away and not come back so you always kind of help them out when they need it. Uh, but that's kind of, that's enabling the behavior. If you keep doing that, they will continue to, to do that and take advantage of you, Aquarius. And you know, um, that's not fair to you. So it, it's like a boundary issue. It seems like Aquarius, your boundaries may have become a little skewed um, you may have let some people back into your life or into your life that, um, you know, just drain you of finances, energy, time, you know, whatever. So uh, it looks like that may be something that is going on in May for most of you and uh, people advising you to, you know, back away and, and, and not continue to enable someone like this. Uh, Something else going on though for you single aquas, uh, you may meet someone in uh, in May, a new person, and 
this could be actually some of you this may be somebody coming back from the past so I mean there may be an ex or a former person that you haven't talked to in a while uh, that gets in touch with you and this could be going back to this for some of you this may be you know an ex from the past who wants something sex um, money you know, um, a shoulder to cry on because they've messed up again. Because again, this is somebody coming up that's hiding something. There's a, you know, if you do meet anybody in May, Aquarius, I, I would give it, you know, take it slow because it does, there does seem to be some sort of something hidden, some kind of secret around this person. So, you know, they could be married, they could be living with someone, you know. So just make sure that you, uh, you keep that in mind. Um, some of you may be looking for a job and there may be a new job opportunity that pops up a new partnership if you're looking to start your own business um, some kind of uh, again um, teaming up to work on a project something like that and um, I, the same applies to this though I if you're if you're asked to sign a contract or anything in May make sure that you know all of the details and maybe you see seek someone um, you know someone a lawyer or somebody to look over anything that you need to sign and if it's a job just make sure that you really know what you're getting into because again there there seems like um, some kind of uh, maybe small print hidden details that you need to take the time to find out uh, so delay is 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 uh, is what they're advising the runes uh, for May with all new people or people coming back from the past that ha don't have such a good track record. Aquarius, um, don't rush into anything. Don't be too quick to respond or say yes. Maybe, maybe should be your word for the month in May. Maybe let me check my schedule. Maybe I'll get back to you. I need to think about it or, um, you know, such, such delaying tactics until you're sure you have all the information until you are sure, you know, uh, what you want to do. But for some of you aquas, I, I mean, this new person that's coming in, um, well, and even if it's this person from the past, there may be a strong sexual or physical chemistry between the two of you. So, um, if you are just looking to, for a physical thing, I mean, that's definitely, literally on the cards for may um so you know have fun with that if you're not if you're just looking for something casual i mean that will certainly be available to you but you may not see this person again if you're doing if you are doing just like a one night stand or casual thing um so uh yeah i mean if that's all you want out of it that will be available to you in may help that you're going to receive in may has to do with communication or or something that you've been waiting to hear about so if you've been waiting to hear back about a job or a real estate deal some of this may involve um, if you've been looking for a home or, or you're in the process of uh, buying or selling property uh, there may be a delay have been a delay around that and you may hear back in May um, Again, even with this, there is, and because this goes back to this contract thing, anything that would be legal or binding in any way, you know, make sure that you take the time to look it over. But yeah, some of you could be moving in May or looking to move in May. If a, if a deal on a home or, or a property falls through, it's because uh, there's something better coming in May for you. And I, I don't feel it's going to be long behind this. Some of you may have decided you wanted a place, but then you find something better in May. You find something you like better. And there's a disruption. For some of you, maybe there's a disruption around closing on a home or, or selling a property, something like that. This may cause some sort of delay and frustration, but I do feel this is temporary. So um, for a lot of you, uh, like I said, if it does fall com fall through completely, it's because there's there's one on its heels, another property that's going to be even better for you. Uh, some of you may hear back about uh, an estate or something that's been in probate, uh, you know, an inheritance. Uh, but it, there still may be some delay around this, but you might get news that you know at least there's the, there's an, a light at the end of the tunnel for this. Um, so just keep that in mind. 
it's kind of like things are starting to move forward, but then we go back. And, and that would make sense because Mars is just now turning direct in, in May, and I believe it's the 19th or the 20th. So that first you know, two to three weeks of May may still be kind of drudgy, but then Mars, once it starts turning directly, um, we can all start moving forward again. You know, because it seems like, uh, for me anyway, and for a lot of these readings, it's like we'll take one step forward and two steps back because people have been dealing with the same issues for quite some time since that retrograde started uh, with Mars last year and um, kind of treading over, everybody's been treading over uh, ground that they've already been over several times. So hopefully maybe we can leave some issues behind when it goes forward and move on to new things. What has to be accepted about may money and financial deals i mean as far as a new start in that aquarius it, again it's it's if you are over eager to move ahead if you take a job immediately or or and, and like it was cautioning before um not studying the details and making sure you know everything you may be disappointed so that when it comes to finances money loaning money borrowing money um new job opportunities, things like that. It's not that you can't go for these and work towards these and that you shouldn't feel positive about these, but I, it seems like June may be a better time to start new money-making ventures, start new business partnerships, those sorts of things, to loan or uh, receive money. But as we spoke of before earlier, don't loan money to this person. This person with the agenda. Uh, but, I mean, those of you who are looking for a new job, who are looking to start some new financial beginning uh, that is coming, but it may just not come in May for you. But you know, whatever steps you can take, you will do in May, but you may not get like the total payout or the total uh, deal signed in May. And that's good because that gives things time for all of this hidden information to come out. Anything hidden, all the details, the small print, so that you can make a decision and, and make an informed decision, a truly informed decision. Um, you know, some of you may be dealing with conflict with someone that you ha thought was over. There may be a resurgence of a conflict that you've already dealt with with someone in the family uh, or, or extended family. This could be in-laws, um, you know, it doesn't have to be your family, but somebody you have regular dealings with. And I mean, you know, you, you knew this wasn't over. I, I think most of you, because you're, you know, we've got the card of intuition. So, I mean, it looks like you have kind of known this was going to continue to keep coming up until it was dealt with in a proper way. And it looks like it hasn't been. Um, seems, But it seems like maybe you distanced yourself from somebody and now they're they're trying to start trouble again. This could be the same person or, or somebody connected to this person that came up at, at the beginning of the reading. Um the thing is though aquarius you're going to have not only a satisfying end to this but you're going to get exactly what you want it's going to feel hard won like it's going to feel like you really have to fight for it but i think if you have been holding in your feelings your thoughts um some things about how uh you feel about this situation or this person certain things will come out um and it's it's high time that they did i you, you know you've been holding back um and you've been worried about this person so but i think you're going to get a positive end to this aquarius uh you are going to get the ending that you want and i see you being very joyous at the end of may with how this is resolved so i mean if this is this person who you have to say no to as far as helping you know, it's probably that you're going to explain, well, this is why I'm not going to help you because these past things that you've done to me, I, you know, I, I don't feel that you deserve that, uh, you know, or I don't feel comfortable giving you that much of me or my money or this because of how you've taken advantage of me in the past. You know, you, and you do need to lay this out on the line, Aquarius. Um, and, you know, let this person know that treating you this way is not okay. And I, I think that you are going to, you know, you're not gonna push this person away. So if you are afraid of that, don't be. Um, I think this person needs to see how hurt you are and how upset 
you've been with their behavior. So, uh, but again, yes, I see a happy ending at the, at the end of May regarding uh, that situation. Uh, there also may be, you may be seeking legal advice, some of you in May, and I think you're going to get a positive um, uh, forecast or a positive outlook from if you do seek advice from uh, for a legal case or any sort of settlement. Some of you, some of you may be getting payout. So this, if you had this inheritance probate something, if you were waiting on property or a property dispute to be settled or or any kind of legal settlement, um, you will either have notes at the end of May of when it will be coming, when you're going to get the payout, when that will be done, or you will actually get the payout. And, um, you know, it may not be everything you were hoping it would be, but it's going to be pretty, pretty damn good. Um, cause I have daggers and see that butterfly there. Whenever I see butterflies, you know, whenever I see that card, it's just, you know, it's like, yeah, it may not be everything, but it's enough and it's nice. So, um, and again, with this relationship situation, same thing, um, you know, if this is not, if this is not a legal case, then you are waiting f that you've been waiting on. And this is maybe just a result you've been waiting on from this family situation and you get, you get the resolution you want again, not everything, but it's maybe more than you were thinking you were going to get. Cause it looks like maybe your outlook before on this was pretty, pretty dire, pretty negative. And, um, so you're just going to be overjoyed that uh, it works out the way that it does. Some of you may be, you know, taking exams in May, Aquarius. You may have been studying for those for a long time. Some of you may pass the bar. I mean, this can be like if you're taking the bar exam to become a lawyer. Uh, some of you may be doing that. Uh, this is because I have these two legal cards, right? And the card for the lawyer right next to each other. So um, you're going to do very well on that. Not as Again, not as well as maybe you thought you were going to do, but you're going to pass and uh, more than pass. So there's going to be a cause for celebration. If this is just college exams or high school exams, you know, wherever you're at in your life or a certification of some sort, you're going to do very well. So don't worry about it. Um, a lot of these cards may be worry about this exam or exams that you have in May, but you're going to sail through and do great for the most part, Aquarius. Um, I really, you know, those of you who have a lot of classes, there may be one that you is a lower grade than you wanted, but I don't see you failing anything. So uh, good luck with May, my little aquas, and I will see you back here in June.